Hi, I'm Joe Campanelli for eHow.com. Today we're gonna make lemoncello. Lemoncello is a typical Italian after-dinner drink, and it comes from the Amalfi Coast, especially around the town of Salento. Lemoncello is also something that we serve in our restaurants, and you'll probably see it in most Italian restaurants across the country. And the idea is that it's based on lemons. For our homemade lemoncello, we really like to use these Meyer lemons because they're really light and floral and aromatic. But if you can't find them, you can definitely use your regular old lemons. What I like to do is soak the lemons in water with just a little bit of white vinegar. This will remove any of the waxy film from the outside and any dirt or impurities. Then you take your peeler and you want to peel the lemons, but just get the outside peel. You want to make sure you're not getting any pith. So if you see that there's very little white. Peel your lemons into a clean jar like this one. You know, something else I really like to do is experiment with different sort of citrus fruit. You can do lime and make a lime cello. You can do orange, make an orange cello. Even, you know, ruby red grapefruit grows really well, and I call that ruby cello. So now that you've filled up, try to fill it up about halfway, and you take your vodka and fill up your jar with vodka about two thirds of the way, or just enough to cover the lemon peels. And then you're going to close the jar. And you can let this soak, or as we say, macerate, for about one to two months. I taste it along the way at about the one month time, and then a week later, and a week later after that, just to see how it's coming along. You're going to know that your limoncello is ready when the lemon peels start to lose their color, and your liquid starts to turn nice and yellow, like this jar here, which has been macerating for about two months. Now, let's say it's two months later, you're ready to strain your lemons. So take your jar and just a strainer, and you're gonna put it into another container. Try not to spill like me. To our lemon and vodka solution, we're gonna add some simple syrup. And it's called simple syrup because it's actually really easy to make. And it's something that every bartender has behind the bar. All simple syrup is, is equal parts sugar and water. And there are two ways to make it. You can make it on the stove and you add 50% sugar, 50% water, and just stir it until it dissolves. Or you can do it in a bottle. And in a bottle you'll do the same thing, but you'll just shake it vigorously until, again, until all the sugar is dissolved into the water. So now you want to add your simple syrup to your lemon cello. And what I do is taste it along the way just to make sure it's the right level of sweetness. For me, it's usually about one-third simple syrup to two-thirds of your vodka lemon mixture. I like to close it up and store it for another couple of days. You can actually store this in the freezer and it won't freeze. Serve it icy cold after dinner as a really refreshing way to end a meal. I think that there's no wrong time to do it, but certainly on those really hot summery days, nothing's better than a nice, icy glass of limoncello. You know, one interesting fact about limoncello is that it was originally used as an anti-scurvy medication on long voyages. And the ships would dock in the Amalfi Coast at, where lemons were really growing prolifically. And they would make these limoncellos because it would last so much longer than if you were to bring fresh lemons. So drink some limoncello and don't get scurvy. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Joe Campanelli. Come have a glass of limoncello with me here at Anfora or Del Anima restaurants in New York City.